Hey, Roxy? Roxy? Did you call? Uh, yeah. I need a little help with this DIY. You want to help? Let's do it. Alright guys, so we're going to be showing you how to make your own Harry Potter inspired tie just using some things that you can find around your house or at a craft store. So the first things that you're going to need are of course some tape and a tie of your choice. It has to preferably be in the color of a red or a mustard yellow. The paint, a brush, of course a plate to put the paint on, and some fabric spray. So the first step that you're going to need is the tape and the tape has to be about an inch wide and you're just going to lay that over the tie and of course we kind of start at the top here so you can kind of see how this is going to look at the end of it. You're just going to cut it. So there we have the tape just lying on the tie like so. Then we're going to put another piece of tape but we're going to leave about an inch of width so, I mean, you could just kind of eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is a Halloween DIY costume, so just have fun with it. So if you don't want to get your table dirty, you could also lay newspaper down. And what we're going to do is we're also going to tape this down to the table like so, because when you paint, you don't want the tie to move around. So you could go ahead and take your paint, put the paint just a little bit. A little bit really goes a long way. And also you want to make sure that the color of your paint is obviously the opposite color of the tie that you get. So if you find a mustard colored tie then you can just get red paint. So we're painting the red tie now and we're, we're gonna, after we're going to remove the tape and then you have the red stripes underneath that. And just like with nail polish you want to do a second coat. After we're done making the first coat we're going to go back and repaint it just so it looks perfect. And once it's completely dry, it is time to remove the tape. So you just want to remove it very lightly and you're going to notice how your stripes just formed perfectly. So now you just want to take your high gloss finishing spray and you want to hold this about a foot away from the tie and this is just going to keep the colors lasting. So you just want to spray this all over just like that. So now you can see that it's starting to look like the Harry Potter tie and I can't wait till you guys see it all together. So we'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye.